Hey everyone, welcome back to Food Nature Trails. If you're someone who enjoys having pancakes for breakfast, this recipe right here will introduce you to the Mediterranean fusion and you would never want to go back to having plain pancakes again. Dates and dried figs contain high amounts of natural sugars which help to cut back on the amount of white sugar you would otherwise need for this recipe. Almonds and oats make your pancakes more wholesome and add in those nice nutty and grainy textures. To a pan that's been heating, we'll add in a teaspoon of clarified butter. I quickly wanted to add that I've also left a link to the measured ingredients that I've used for this recipe in the description box below. And once your pan is coated and that's nicely heated, add in a quarter cup of almonds and roast these until they are nice and toasty. Once that's done, we can set these aside to cool off and we can start to work on our pancake batter. You'll need 4 eggs. Crack these up into your whisking bowl. And I wanted to take a moment to say that if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now we can get back to preparing our pancake batter. Give these a good whisk. And once you see that these are starting to bubble and form a little bit of froth, Add in 2 tablespoons of sugar and whisk all of these together again till you see that the egg mix has almost doubled. Add in a teaspoon of vanilla essence, a cup of all purpose flour, Put a teaspoon salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Now you want to mix in all those dry ingredients so that you don't have them flying all over the place when you whisk this mixture again. Once these ingredients are all well combined, add in a quarter cup of milk, and whisk everything together. Whisk until you see that the batter has reached this smooth consistency. Our roasted almonds must have now cooled off and we can add these to a dry grinder along with half a cup of roughly chopped dried figs and dates. Add in a very tiny portion of a nutmeg. And grind all these ingredients together. Add in half a cup of quick oats and the ground dry fruit. And fold all of these ingredients into that egg mix. Once all the ingredients are thoroughly combined, you can set your pan to heat. And I have some leftover clarified butter from previously toasting the almonds, so I'll start with just that. And you can portion the batter into half a cup measure for each pancake you make. Allow these to cook well on each side on the lowest heat of your cooktop. Each side should take about 2-3 to three minutes to be well done. Now 
slicing that one good looking pancake. And you'll see that although we've stuffed our pancake batter with so many ingredients, you will still have yourselves some awesome fluffy pancakes. I thoroughly enjoyed these delicious wholesome pancakes with some fresh cherries on the side and some saffron milk and honey to go along. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.